Welcome back, everybody. It is me, Forda Rayleigh, here with you guys today, and we are starting a brand new world to uh, ring in the fact that the Nether update has happened. And I've already taken a little peek around because I really wanted a world that, okay, first of all, pretty cool that we spawned right by a village. Like, I did not uh, plan for that. Well, I guess I did plan for that, but I also didn't, like, um, stop it. I don't know. I, I did a few different uh attempts at creating a world because one of the things that I really wanted with a brand new world was a coral reef and if you guys can tell there's a coral reef just over that away and so it kind of met my standards I took a quick look around before I started recording just to make sure that I was where I wanted to be I think I had to delete about six worlds just to get what I wanted because let's face it I really really want to make sure that this series will uh go for a long time. And in order to do that, I really want to be in a world that I enjoy and love and um, get to see the views that I want to see and everything. So yeah, the coral reef is just right there. I've got lots of animals around me. I've got a village right there. I've got a, a desert over there. Like the savannas right there. Lots of flowers. There might even be some I wonder if there's uh, any bees nests up there because there's lots of flowers. So anyways, I took a little stroll around to try and make sure that everything uh, was here that I wanted. And it is. So this is the world that we are going to be living in to go and explore the new nether and uh, just build and create and everything. And so I've named this world Chillville because I have discovered that I am terrible at um, fighting. <laughs> hi, 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 buddy. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, I'm terrible at fighting and I'm terrible at like facing mobs and everything. And I just want to have a world that I can relax in and not worry. Oh, kitties! <gasps> and not worry about like, I don't know. F I, 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 I want to, I like, I want to get into fighting. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Um, oh, good. I needed food. Uh, I want to get into fighting, but I don't want to do it out of. Like, I, I just want to be able to relax while I do it, I guess. Like, not have to worry about actually fighting. So I named it Chillville because I just plan on being really relaxed about this world and about what I want to do in this world. So, um, so yeah, oh, little baby villager. So we're just going to take our time with what we do here and um, do some exploring and do some building and do some... Uh, gathering of supplies and stuff, but in a way that is not going to cause us any trouble or um, deaths or anything unnecessary because let's face it, I am a wimp and we all discovered that with other videos that I've done, especially when I tried to make one. Oh, I don't know. I'm just, did you just spawn it? I don't know. I didn't see it before. Um, with other videos that I've attempted where I want to try and become brave and it just doesn't work and I get too scared to continue. So, uh, we are here in this little village and um, we're going to start again. And so the plan is, of course, to get to the nether, but it's not going to be the first thing that we do. We're going to gather supplies and make sure that we're safe and that we have a way of doing it without without dying right away. And we have to make sure we have our gold and our iron and uh, hopefully some diamonds would be fantastic. And so, yeah, that is the plan. I'm going to no noisily eat my bread. I guess I should. I didn't see a crafting table in any of these houses. That was one of the things I was kind of looking for. But I'm going to steal some of their hay bales because I can make more uh, bread from them. And uh, then those animals can last a little longer. And hopefully we can make a little farm for them and get them breeding and going and stuff like that as well. Because uh, I don't want to lose all the wildlife. You know what? I feel like in some forms of oops i hope i didn't oh i did oops sorry buddies i'm trampling on your <laughs> fields um i feel like in some of the different ways you can play minecraft the animals will spawn if you leave them a big enough space to spawn like they'll just start spawning in but i have discovered or maybe not discovered i don't know i can't seem to get that to work on the pc version of um minecraft i've never been able to just have a blank field and the animals just like spawning in so I want to make sure that the animals are alive so that we can use them for, uh, you know, creating a farm so that we can, um, harvest, harvest them. <laughs> Let's harvest them in a, in a proper fashion. I'll get these seeds that I, uh, destroyed. And I don't see anything other than wheat. Do they have carrots or potatoes? Cause that would be amazing. Are these all just wheat? I feel like that's all just wheat. And I feel like I'm going to steal a bed because I do not have, oh, this is perfect. We're just going to steal that little bed there. And it's my favorite color, orange. So 
It was meant to be. And I don't want to live in the village, but it's kind of nice to like have the village near us because then we can uh, eventually um, borrow some of the villagers and try to create a Mendy boy, uh, a mending villager, because uh, that is um, definitely one of the priorities that I have. Not a priority because it's not going to be one of the first things that I do, but it will definitely be something that we do. Um, so we're going to we're going to like live out this way so the village can, you know, be its own thing. And we're going to live in this area and uh, I want to be close to the coral reef. So I feel like I think the coral reef is more like against the the uh, desert over there. There's a desert right there. And I don't want to live in a desert because that's like sandy and boring. But if we can try and live as close to the coral reef as possible, even here, if we put our house here, we have a, a view of it. I might even make a boat and just see if there's land on the opposite side of that coral reef that we can even live in because that would be... um ideal if we can just have something that is not desert that is near the coral reef that we can call our home. But for now, we're not going to do that right now because uh, priorities are survival and we should, oh, we should collect this coal down here. Okay, so I feel like I've wasted a lot of time <laughs> looking around. What time of day is it? Like, I feel like it should be almost nighttime. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, it's over that way. So we only collected six bits of of <laughs> wood and I actually might even change my skin before um uh, probably not the, you know, the, not in the next episode, maybe, but uh, in the near future, I'm wearing my, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my bland outfit, and I feel like I want to wear a colorful outfit. So I probably will change the way that I look sometime in the near future as well to be not so great. But for now, this is the skin that we are wearing, and I just want to see the things that I can craft, not the things that I um, can and cannot craft. So Let's make sure we can get a little pickaxe here so we can collect some stone and some uh, some coal. And we're just going to come on down here. And okay, this looks pretty safe. This is nice. See, this is this is my ideal like location here because I don't have a big gigantic cave in front of me. Watch some awful creeper will come up against me now. But I don't see any big cave down there. It's just nice and open to the sky. So nothing's going to be spawning down here, hopefully, and, and scaring us and, and possibly threatening us. So I can just chill and do this. See, so like the name for Chillville. I can just chill and collect the supplies here without worry. I will back it up a little bit. I'm a little nervous about up there. That's like so sad. I... I, I feel like if we ever make potions, if we ever get to the point where we're making potions and I get like a potion of, um, of what's it called, where you can see like a uh, night vision. If I can get some potions of night vision, I might be more willing to go into the caves, but it's like all about the darkness, not only the fact that you can't see the mobs, but also the darkness, um, and the uncertainty of what's coming. You know what I mean? So if I can just create a potion that would allow me to see so that I don't get scared of the dark because it's like the dark that scares me the most um not so much the mobs i feel like i can fight mobs a lot better out in the open than i can in the dark caves so yeah potion of night vision is a, a definite must if we ever get to that point because then i might feel better about going down into a cave and exploring them and uh yeah facing the mobs because it's kind of ridiculous i i am scared of the mobs even um when i'm fully armored like i'll have a full suit of diamond armor will be enchanted and everything and i will be scared to um to, to still face uh any threat so uh, let's make us i feel like we might have to okay so uh sword for just in case i suppose i'm gonna leave the animals i was gonna i was gonna harvest some of them right now but i actually i will leave them because they're not doing anything uh they're 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 being pretty chill here with me so we will leave them and i'll have this out just in case i need to defend myself uh otherwise let's get the rest of this coal and then we can maybe think about uh, starting, you know what, let's actually, I'm so scatterbrained. <laughs> uh, there's so many things. I want to make a house, but I want to make sure I do it in a place that I, um, want to live in. I don't want to just make a shack because, oh, it kind of comes, oh, it comes right through. Look at that. Um, I don't want to just make a shack because, uh, I feel like I've got the bed now. I don't need a shack. I can just sleep whenever I want to and it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to make something to survive the night through, you know what I mean? So we're going to make a boat and we're going to bring our bed with us and we're just going to go see if the other side of the coral reef has anything better for us because if it does then I don't want to commit to just like building a beautiful house here and we have like a tiny view of the coral reef but not a great view and if we can actually get a beautiful view of this coral reef then let's let's decide to live there you know what I mean and I feel like our spawn was pretty close to this coral reef that I didn't need to remake my spawn and try to get even closer because we were really 
quite next to it. I just want to live like, oh, it'd be so cool if land was like right here on it that wasn't, you know, desert because, and I get why it's in the desert, you know, coral reef is in a warm ocean and the desert is warm and all that jazz. I get that. But I would still like to have just normal, like a birch forest or a flower forest or something right, um, right in the coral reef would be amazing. And I don't want to make something like that myself because that is quite time consuming and not something that I want to commit to. And I just realized as we're sailing out here that I don't have a compass on me or any indication on how to get home, but I do know it's like directly behind us. So it shouldn't, shouldn't be too big of a deal. And I see, oh, you know what? I see land over there. Uh, let's see. Is that actually going to work for us? It does look like it might... Uh, it doesn't really look any closer to the coral reef, actually, to be honest. And that is a flower biome there, and it's actually right at the edge as well. So it doesn't make me any closer to this uh, coral reef as what we had on the other side. So, oh, ooh, 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 actually, there's a coral reef right there too, but that's really small. That's a really small little chunk of land. Okay, I feel like we can just keep our... Uh, spawn location maybe as our location and maybe what I'll do is I will build out a house on stilts into the coral ocean coral reef I mean and we can just have our house out in the coral reef on stilts like a little boathouse maybe we can make a little boathouse or something like that and that will be uh, our our base and then we can actually enjoy the view and then everything else will stay on the land uh, on that little yeah on, on the uh, where we spawned there's the word <laughs> And hopefully that'll work out well for us. And I do like the fact that a desert's right beside us because we will definitely take advantage of all that sand. And it's a bummer though that there's no, um, and I mean, this is another thing that I thought if, if I spawned with a, what's the clay biome called? You know, the one with all the clay. Oh, puffer fish. See, that's the bad thing, I guess, about these coral reefs is the puffer fish. But no, the one with all the clay, um, if we had that biome and we spawned in that, that would be another thing. Like if I didn't have a coral reef, if I at least had that, then then I'd be okay with it because I do enjoy building with those um, materials. But uh, this will do. And I, I do like the gravel and sand material where if you don't have the clay, then you can use the gravel and sand because I just like the colors. And I do plan on using like wool and stuff too, but I just really appreciate... Ooh, there's there's a big hole here but there's like that one piece of oh, it's tempting but it's just one so maybe not um I do enjoy building with color and I might just use a lot of wool color even but um I, I like the brightness of the of the um what is it I don't even remember the name of it but it's the one that uses sand and gravel okay so this is where we are going to live and I think what I will do is I'm going to collect some birch wood because I really do like the look of birch uh, for the house. I think especially out in, oh, I don't, you know what? I didn't make an axe. I just realized I have a pickaxe and a sword and no axe. I don't want to use my fist. Um, I really do like the, the look of birch, especially out in the ocean. I think that'll look really nice. So let's just grab a quick little axe here and we can go and harvest some of the birch wood over here and then that's uh that's going to be for our house and i'll use maybe some stone i don't know i'll have to maybe come up with a design for um for our house because it's going to be on the on the water if we want to make like a cool uh boathouse or something that would uh, look really neat on the water i think i need to design something i can't just like uh, wing it i think it has to have some sort of like thought to it so, but I do want to make it out of some birch and probably some stone. You know, so this is where I might actually collect the gravel and the um, and the sand because then I can actually use those materials to make some colored uh, stone or clay. No, not clay. I don't remember. I can't remember. I'll, I'll remember it for the next episode. The colored stuff. <laughs> And probably like white or gray would be really nice. And it'll look very similar to, um, to, what's the word? Uh, da, 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 to like white wool or to the stone if I collected stone, but it's a different material and it just looks a little cleaner than stone does. So I, that's why I appreciate it. It has a cleaner feel to it. 
And so anyways, they're going to come up this way and I don't see any bees at all, which is uh, something that we might try and grow. Because I think if you have flowers around you and you grow oak trees, you can get a chance of getting a uh, beehive with bees. Uh, I have tried it once and it actually worked for me once. And I got bees with bee, uh, sorry, beehive with bees in it, which was like, it's one thing to get the hive. You have to have the bees too. <laughs> so, and it did come with the bees. So that was perfect. And then I made them mad because I accidentally broke it and they um, all died and ran away. But that's a, that's a different story. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think I'm going to record too much longer for this episode. I feel like I might just even uh, do this off camera a little bit, collecting the supplies. But maybe what I will do is I can make a plan here. If we just take a look, I kind of liked how it jutted out over here into the water already. It feels like a natural... A uh, bridge can happen over here and then we can just plan to carry it out over there or maybe even that sandbar there. That might actually be really cool if we have that sandbar as our starting point because um, it kind of is out on its own and it's a little closer so I don't have to make a humongously long bridge to get over to our destination. It would be a lot shorter and I... Do, 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 do. just want to okay come up now and it's nice because it has natural defense of a cactus on it and it has some um uh this stuff sugarcane sugarcane so we can make paper and, and stuff like that so maybe i would start with it here yeah even like if we built on this actually it's really nice view because you can see the colors out there already even just from here we have our nice um forest behind us so that might be the plan but let's make all of this right now oh i did collect a lot more wood than i thought i did uh and i left my crafting table over there so let's actually make another crafting table but i'm gonna use this wood for my crafting table like that and then i don't have to go all the way back <laughs> we'll put this down by the cactus because why not and I feel like I want to make a few, maybe I'll make a birch door right now. So read that and a few of these stairs. And I want to actually, let's see, I don't have a lot of cobble anymore. So I'm gonna have to collect some more cobble because I want to make some stone steps maybe. So I'll pop that there and uh, maybe I should make some torches while I'm at it too. Let's make a few of these and we can light up our area and hopefully the sand is not trapped. And I want a few more sticks there so we can make a little bit more of the torches and just, oh, that was a lot. Just light up this whole place because I'm probably going to end up uh, logging off pretty soon because I actually have an appointment and uh, I don't want to come back onto the dark and, um, you know, spawns all around me. So that's what we will do here. And okay, so um, as for the boathouse, I feel like if we just start... Let's see, let's do steps first. If we just start with a couple of steps here and uh, I'm not gonna, do I have dirt on me? I have one piece of dirt, that's funny. Uh, I'm not gonna do the stone ones yet because I wanna smelt some stone and make it into like the, the brick. So I, I feel like I'll just start like this and I wanna keep that dirt because I need it. <laughs> That's going to be a pain. I'm going to have to collect more dirt just for that because I don't want to have to keep uh, jumping in the water to reclaim this piece of dirt. But for now, we will do this because I don't feel like going and digging up more dirt. So come back here, dirt. Thank you. And I can't use sand or anything, of course, because the sand is going to um, fall. So let's just uh, maybe one more up ought to do it because I want to make sure that like boats and animals and stuff can get under it and I don't want to trap myself on one side of the water and we'll just do that there and let's come up and grab this dirt and collect come on it's so hard to do it like that but that's the way I chose to do it and I need it back so come on back come on back dirt there we go okay and it's getting to nighttime again so I'm actually going to did I keep my bed on me yes I did I'm actually going to sleep now and then I think that I'm going to end the episode here with our oops not that <laughs> with our plan in mind to build our houseboat off of that uh, that way there and uh, be able to see the beautiful coral, coral reef in the distance uh, every time that we wake up. So anyways, I'm going to end the episode now and I really uh, thank you guys for joining me today and I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're excited. I'm very excited to be uh, starting this new series with you guys and I can't wait to continue. So I will see you guys later and have a great day. Bye!